guys. I did a thing. Holy shit, what did I do? Hi, welcome back to the vlog. Um, I'm in Florida and I meant to vlog the trip, but then I was working and it just didn't happen. I wanted to enjoy my weekend. So I'm just gonna open up this little video now with a hello, yesterday I bought a Tesla. Um, yesterday I bought a Tesla Model Y. This is like my dream car. It's white with white interior and black rims. Um, I've been wanting this and it just sort of happened. Like, I don't know. I spent a lot of money, but it's so worth it. It's absolutely beautiful. So yeah, the perfect car just ended up being in Florida. I came to Florida, I bought it. Um, and now I just got to my Airbnb. So I wanna give you guys a little bit of a tour. This is gonna be a really quick video. I just wanna give you a tour of the Airbnb. Um, I fly back home to LA tomorrow. Yeah, so this is my car. Um, her name is Odessa, Odessa the Tesla. And it's literally perfect. Like I don't, it's so perfect. Basically, I wanted to get a new Model Y, like completely new. Um, but they're on back order like if you order from Tesla it says August But it's really like the estimated delivery date is like December so you have to wait a year to get them But then I found this one which was purchased new by a dealer in November And then he just drove it as his daily for a couple months like he didn't want to sell it um, And then he decided to sell it so it only has like a thousand miles like the protective screen is still on everything Like everything is brand new um, new purchased by this dealer who just sold it to me. I did have to pay like 10k more like I paid more than you would if you ordered it from Tesla, but I didn't have to wait so that's awesome So yeah, I bought it yesterday, and then I just scheduled a shipping company So it's getting picked up this evening, and it's gonna be shipped to LA. It's gonna be my car in LA um, And yeah, it's gonna meet me there So I'm so so excited, and I absolutely love it I feel so happy that like my work is paying off, and I got you know something I really wanted so yeah, this is my car, and now I'm gonna forget that. I'm gonna go inside and give you guys a tour of my Airbnb, but I just wanted to say I'm super excited, and if you see me cruising around in my new, my new whip, this is her, she's beautiful. Um, yeah, it's really exciting, so. You guys will see it in all my LA vlogs. It's gonna be there next week, and I'm really excited. So yeah, to the Airbnb tour. Our property is fully gated and when you enter, we have ring doorbell cameras or like the Google Home ones just so we can see when guests check in and check out. And then we have this Igloo Home lockbox here. You put your palm over it and then you enter a code and the keys are inside. Once you enter the home, this is our living room. Um, we have a coastal theme going on Airbnb. This counts as one of the places to sleep. And yeah, it's super comfortable, super cute. We have a large smart TV and some books there. And just again, like oars going with the coastal design. And then we have the Wi-Fi password here, really large just so no one has to ask for it because even if it's in your instructions, I've heard that, you know, guests can still have so much trouble finding it. Then we have this welcome table, ignore all my stuff right there. But on the welcome table, we have brochures. So our guests have, you know, tons of ideas of things to do. Granola bars, um, a guest book. This is where they all like leave notes after they stay here. I highly recommend this because it's just like so fun to like know why everyone's here and like that they enjoyed their stay. And then we have this guest book, which has all the rules of the home and menus and stuff like that. I don't want to flip through it because it has the address, but just helpful things to have. If you live near the beach, I highly recommend beach towels because a lot of guests are super grateful that we include those because you know, if people are flying, then it's hard to pack those. Then you come into the kitchen. Sorry, I don't have any of the lights on. So just turn them all off. I have this kitchen table here, super cute. We have different placemats to change out um, as the guests come and go. And then we have this little desk space with a monitor. Our guests have been so happy with this. So many people work from home these days and do remote work. So I think that's a great addition if you can include it. And then we just have a little seating area. Then that leads you into the kitchen. Um, our kitchen is completely stocked. We have even like spices, um, cooking oils, coffee, pretty much anything you can think of that's just like a basic. It makes your guests have such an easier stay and it really doesn't cost you anything so yeah, fully stocked. We have plastic cups, glass cups, 
wine glasses, we have glass dishes, plastic dishes, and kids dishes. So that's all super important. And then like same thing with silverware, we have regular silverware and then we have kids silverware, knives, everything like that. So that is pretty much the kitchen. That has Tupperware, like anything our guests could need, we try to include. Then as you go down the hall here, we have a half bath right here. It looks just like this. Salty, sandy, happy, pretty basic. Hello. Um, yeah, it looks like that. Cute, cute, cute. We have a little rug here. Then we have like the water heater, closet or whatever that is. Um, and we keep just like, you know, some cleaning stuff, an ironing board and an iron. Super good to have. We actually just got that off of like a marketplace. So those types of things, you know, you don't necessarily need to buy like super expensive. And this is the first bedroom here on the right. And it's my absolute favorite. This is a full size bed, so it sleeps too. I love like the cream paneling in here. It's just so beachy, sandy colored. We have like ocean art there, some more oars, and then a full body mirror. Um, we've gotten multiple reviews that people really need to have like full body mirrors in their Airbnbs. So I would definitely include those too. Then this is what we call the bunk room. Let's see if I can get the lighting right here. We have these beanbag chairs. It's like blending in with the rug. Um, we have beanbag chairs in either corner. Kids have loved staying in this room. It's a twin over full, so that sleeps one, two, three, and then we have a trundle underneath that sleeps four. So this is like a really great room for a lot of guests to stay. Another beanbag's over there. We have children's books and games, and tons of games, puzzles, and cards here. So this is like been used by so many guests. We have so many good reviews that they just love that we have stuff for them to do. And then in every bedroom closet, we have hangers and extra bedding for them. So super important, definitely include hangers. Your guests, like we've had, I think three of our stays have been people going to weddings, so it's important. Then this is a queen bed. This is, I guess, like the master bedroom here. Um, and it's super cute. We have a few different beddings that go in here. I don't love this one, but the other ones were just used. So that is that. Another full body mirror. And then to the right of there, we have our full bath. It's super bright and open um, with turquoise details, which I think is adorable. Um, and then in our shower, we have this for toiletries. We got it off Amazon and that has been a lifesaver. Um, guests love when you can give them, you know, shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff. So it's super important. That's so funny. I just got a call from a car dealership that I've been talking to. And he was like, quick question. Are you Emily who does Airbnb TikToks? That's so funny. If you're watching this, hello. Um, okay. Well, let me show you guys the outside of the Airbnb. Stay out of my mom because she's definitely watching on the camera. It's fully fenced all the way around. Um, and then there's like a little path that leads through to the backyard. Um, we have a garden here. We want to add like tropical plants here. We just haven't gotten around to it yet. So right now it looks like that. And a little seating area. Then we have parking spaces for two. So we have gated parking, which is great. We have string lights all along here. We have a grill and like a water thingy. Um, trash, I don't know where the recycling bin is. And then our lawn guy's coming tomorrow, so like ignore all the leaves, cause he's gonna come like take care of all of this. But this is our fire pit, usually it's just white shells and not a ton of leaves. So yeah, this is like the fire pit area. And then we have a garage and, let me turn on the light. In the garage we have a cornhole, we have beach chairs. Um, beach chairs have been huge, like obviously guests who are flying can't bring those, so it's been super great to include those there. So yeah, we got beach chairs, and then we have all these outdoor toys, wonderful, and a washer dryer. So if our guests need to do laundry, it's free washer dryer. We have the detergent and like dryer sheet balls and laundry bags, so our guests can use that. Like they have full access to in here. We have skewers and like grill supplies, and then we have these bins which hold all of our stuff for our cleaning crew. Um, to restock so we have charcoal for the grill lighter fluid for the fire the grill we have wood for our guests so yeah that is basically it um this makes for a really short video but i don't want to go 
too far into detail right now so if you guys have any questions then comment them down below as you can tell i'm kind of just like in a rush to get out of here so if you have recently followed my account then thank you so much i've been posting shorts and i've gotten a lot of new followers who are interested in airbnb so that's a tour of my airbnb i don't want to show the outside of the house because i don't want to give away the location and the address and everything but i am in florida and it's super beautiful we're really close to downtown not far from the beach so yeah, it's super exciting. I love it so much. We are fully booked for, we were fully booked all of January, all of February, all of March, and then we're starting to get our bookings for April. So it's super exciting. I highly recommend getting into Airbnb if you can. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, but thank you guys so much for watching my little house tour. And if you wanna come stay here, then contact me and I will send you the link. Um, I'm just not posting it out in the public anymore because I've recently gained a lot of haters on TikTok and I don't want to be sabotaged. So yeah, thank you guys so much for following along and watching everything. Um, I'm posting a ton of TikToks today while I'm here. So I will see you guys there. So talk to you later.